friends, Mercy here. Uh, happy May. Today is May 1st and um, yesterday I unboxed my new uh, subscription kit from DEK Designs um, with all kinds of goodies in it. If you missed that video, um, it's up and posted yesterday on Saturday, April 30th. So um, today we're going to be putting down the monthly um, in the RSL A5 wide. So I'm going to get the bookmark here and get to May and then we'll just pop out these pages here and the bookmark it's my little bookmark um, tab and so I'll put this aside I pulled out a weekly. There we go. That's how it should look. All right. Now, I'm going to start with just the top header and then the most um, time consuming task will be all the corner um, date dots. But isn't this such a lovely shade of some pinks and peaches and lilacs? And May such a wonderful month, um, namely a lot going on with birthdays, family birthdays, and uh, Mother's Day, of course, and wrapping everything up um, at school uh, for winding down the school year. So so this is... Um, I. When you order the subscri subscription kit, um, you can choose various sizes. I think Happy Planner Classic is one. Um, and of course the Hobonichi A5. And then I have selected to receive, and I do receive my kit in the Oristel. It just says Oristel. It doesn't say anything about size, but my Oristel is A5 wide. So, um, all right, we have I'm going to do my dates, but I want the weekend where it fits here, possibly from the bottom up. So, anyway, um, expecting storms tonight. We, I'm in the, the DFW Metroplex area, North Texas, and course we have some storms but it won't be as bad as what I've heard Oklahoma is expecting um, tonight and tomorrow they're expecting some tornado weather outbreak tomorrow so praying for Oklahoma all right my Sunday, May 1st. This is such a beautiful color. It's um, like a gray. I don't know what you would call that. It's like a lilac, gray lilac. It's kind of light. It's soft. I like soft colors. More than the bold. Love the florals. So, um, I'll continue talking, but sometimes I just have to stop concentrating on what I'm doing. Make sure I'm straight or in the right spot. Um, you know, our area, we are in like drought, severe drought conditions, and we need, need, need the rain. But the rain without the storms is the better way to get it. I have several days over the next week, um, all week long and into the next week, where we have rain in the forecast. So. I'm happy about that. Outside looking beautiful, smelling wonderful like spring. Hubby was able to get the back and the front yard mowed early this morning. So I got the smell of fresh cut grass. And I planted some flowers in my patio pots this weekend, yesterday. 
So they're looking pretty, pretty springy. Um, at school, my kiddos have been working in the garden. So we've been weeding and planting plants and planting seeds and working to improve the school grounds. We do have, it's called OutTeach. Um, a few years ago, we were sponsored by uh, various companies um, and they built us a wonderful uh, outdoor learning area with a lot of raised beds and trellises, a wildflower area, gazebo, um, a lot of uh, various planters, um, a garden shed, garden tools, a windmill, some paving stones. It's just, it's beautiful. We have, um, even in the gazebo, we have two outdoor uh, whiteboards for doing lessons outside. And they don't have to be science lessons um, related to the garden. We can go out and we have seating areas and whiteboards. Um, we can go out and do math lessons, reading lessons, um, whatever, and just enjoy the weather on those nice weather days. So my kids really did. Oh, see, hold on. Okay, I see my mistake. See, I was talking and just um, rambling along and going through my routine. And I have a 21 here that almost went on 22, but it doubled. I got another 21 here. And then looking back, I see where I have also doubled on the 11. So I'm going to have to peel this up and see what I got going here. A little bit of fixing. Let's see, I, I love to talk to y'all and visit while I'm, I'm doing this planning, but then there's a perfect example of me not paying attention. Um, lost my focus. It just um, reminds me of the book I'm reading right now. It's called Battlefield of the Mind uh, by Joyce Meyer. And in that, she talks about that very issue um, needing a heavy, a heavy focus when you're on task and how that your mind can just wander off whether you're in a meeting or in a, a learning class learning situation um, or visiting with a uh, family you know you have to say excuse me I'm, I'm sorry could you repeat that because <laughs> your mind wanders off you know I know it happens to students and it happens to adults too. We we tend to wander. Um, my wandering is like throughout the day I might a uh, thought might pass my my brain about what I have to do after school. Um or something that if I don't have my calendar with me, I'll think of something important that it's like, "Oh, I need to put that in my calendar." But when I don't have it with me, well, then it, it bugs my brain um, until I get it down. So I get a lot of interference, <laughs> thought interference. And that happens to me most of the time when I'm driving because, of course, you can't write anything down. So when I'm driving, commuting, um, my long commute to work, I, um, I'll have a thought about something that I need to put right down or put in my planner, my calendar. Um, and I have to try to hold on to that thought or so I won't forget to write it down when I have the opportunity. But you know what happens to my opportunity? First opportunity I get when I'm not sitting, well, then my body's very busy. So my brain's not thinking of that thought that I have when I'm busy attending to other tasks. So I hope y'all know, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. These thoughts invade my brain when I have downtime. Okay, almost back on track. Well, I'm just grateful that I didn't get all the way to the end before I noticed. I have to pay attention that my top number is matching my underneath number. Okay, so we are on track now with 21. I thought something was different. So somehow I ended up with two 21s and two 11s on that uh, numerical order there. 
And since I've moved around, let me just check, see if I'm still, yeah, still in frame. So, I chatted about the weather, chatted about activities. I know I don't want to put too much um, school stuff on here because I have a separate school planner. Um, it's my A5. Malden. It's my um, A5 ring planner and I have printouts in there that I've purchased online from Annie Plans Printables and uh, Plan to Create. So all my teacher planner spreads. Anyway, so I have my school planner devoted to school and then I have my Hobonichi Weeks that um, I carry with me in my purse and I will jot down personal things in there that I have to attend to and also school things because if I'm at school I want to be able to check my personal commitments and then the same at home I want to be able to check my school commitments in a planner but I don't have to put every commitment in every planner just have my I call it my bridge um my Hobonichi weeks it kind of bridges everything together for me okay so where are we here I need to choose the May. I'm going to put it over here. Oh, I don't know. Let me put it here, but it would be pretty on at a touch of sparkle with the foil on top of the bouquet, but also it'll take away from the bouquet. So let me do a little thinking and planning here, modeling it on there. May. Relax, or May. I think I like it over here better. Ooh, I like that too. Yeah, I like it there with the neutral background. Alrighty. Okay, and then in May we have Mother's Day. I wish this was just a tad smaller because I want it on this box. Sunday, May 8th is Mother's Day, and it fits in the box, but um, Sunday, May 8th is also my grandson Wyatt's birthday, so I want room uh, on there to note that. And this page, icon page, actually came with this kit, so I am going to give this happy birthday. This is going to be for Wyatt, and I'll note his name down there. Wait a minute. Um, I don't want to put a box under... I think one small enough would be this one here. Don't really want the blue one. Okay. I'm just going to put the cake and then I'll just write his name there. Yeah. So Wyatt's birthday. It's May 8th, sharing with Mother's Day. And... Okay, I do want to put some decorations here on some of these boxes, but what color scheme do I want to pull? Floral. So I have three florals. You can get the teddy bear in here. No, I went, okay, this is cute. Little face right next to this um, weekend sign. That's cute. And the color scheme kind of pulls over there. Pretty pretty. And some, this has the darker florals. So I'm gonna balance that over here. Pull that down. Okay, are we doing plaid or Another floral next to. Okay. Cute teddy. Do I want a little bit of this color in the middle? The plaid. 
yeah, I want this. Have that soft, um, peachy background kind of matches both the teddy bear and the little face. So, okay, that's pretty. I like it. All right. Um, I do have, I'm gonna have to get some more boxes because this is the last day of school. Exciting, exciting. Um, I do have another birthday. And that's my niece, Miss Bracey. I also have a meeting this day. But that's going to be in my school calendar. Bracey, Bracey. Bracey's birthday. Here. I know we're going to have um, a party on this day at school the party hasn't been set for Wyatt yet so I'm not going to put that sticker down okay currently watching currently reading and currently listening I'm going to put those in probably my daily oh I have my 2022 here where am I going to pop that my foil to match my May. Here, it would be on that neutral background like this, but then I have no foil on this side and that's okay with me. I'm really okay with that, I think. It's gonna be here. Yeah. Okie dokie. All right, so I have noted, well, I'm gonna get the pen to note it. Um, last day of school is here. I know I have uh, meetings this week, but that pertain to education meetings, meetings, meetings. That's going to be in a different planner because it's just going to be family and home. So I have two birthdays, uh, grandson, niece, Mother's Day. Last day of school is kind of a, important and special. And I'm going to move these little stickers here off. Um, onto this page, these little corners, because I'm going to throw this one away. Kind of declutter as I'm going, but I'll save this to use. And this one, I'll save here. Okay, trash. All right, so that is the monthly plan with me sticker down. Um, I've yet to get the pen, and I have a lot uh, more beautiful stickers that I can put down um, these as well. This is going to be for my journaling or my daily pages. And then this foil came in as well. So I shared that in the plan with me, but I don't have uh, an idea of where I want to put these stickers yet. So I'll come back to that, leave my stickers accessible. Come back to that. Let's pop the pages back inside. Um, And this will be ready for me to add events as they pop up. More details on White's birthday party schedule. And there we go. This is so pretty. Ready, ready, ready. So thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. I hope you enjoy looking at all this, the gorgeous colors and, and the florals in this beautiful spread from DEK Designs. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.